If you want to know how to make an exploding wall for your prison game like the jailbreak one, make sure to watch this video all of the way to the end to find out how to. Hey guys, and welcome back to this brand new video. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make an exploding wall like the jailbreak one. So you hold E, it'll explode, you can walk through it, etc. Not really much special. It's going to probably be like a little short video, but I don't really mind. If you're new to the channel, put sure to like and subscribe. If you want to become a member, make sure to click the blue join button down below. We got four shirts made by one of my friends called Audio Inks. Thank you so much for making them. Uh, big shout out to you. And um, we've got eight designs currently. If you want to buy one of them, go to my group. I'll link in the description. Uh, every design is going to be 10 Robux. We're not going to make it lower or higher. So, yeah. And today's shout out for the comments goes to this person on screen. Thank you so much for posting something nice in my comments. If you want a shout out too, comment something nice on this video and uh, you'll get a chance. So yeah, let's hop on with the video. So what we could do, we can make a part. All you, all you actually need is a part, a proximity prompt, and a script. Now we're just going to, you just might want to customize it like this, like that. So, because that's going to be, uh, your part. Oh. So, now you got, like, a proximity prompt thingy. I don't know how big a player is. I don't really mind. So, this is your thingy. So, in your script, you want to immediately type script.parent.proximityprompt.triggered, colon, connect, function. All you want to do is this. And then enter. So, this is, like, the main function. And here we just end function. It's just Roblox stuff. You don't have to do anything. So now what we can do. It's, it's actually quite simple. You just want a local explosion. It's the instance that new explosion. And then you want to do explosion.parent. I'm going to copy the word. It's very annoying. Uh, it's going to be game.workspace. And then explosion dot position. This is the game. The workspace dot explode ball dot position. And now if we just do explode ball for that, make sure it's the E and the W are uh, like with explanation marks. You can actually kind of test this out. Of course, it doesn't work yet. It doesn't work yet because uh, I believe we only implemented the explosion right now. So um, once I turn on my graphics, yeah, this is like one of the designs. Look very cool. Just do that. Yeah, now you got like an explode wall thingy. But of course, you want it, so um, you cannot spam it. So you want to do, for hold duration, you want to do five seconds. And I believe there's a way so the explosion doesn't kill you. I believe like explosion dot, uh, let me see. So what you need to do for that is explosion dot destroy joint the radius percent is going to be zero. And now if you would test that out, hopefully we are not gonna get killed. Oh, we gotta hold it. La la la. Boom. So that's gonna be your explosion. What we can do is explosion, explosion dot blast, Radius going to be zero. Explosion dot blast pressure is going to be zero, so you're not gonna get flinked. So now I'm gonna explain what we're doing. So for explosion, we're just making an explosion. We're giving it a parent, giving it a parent. For example, workspace. So that uh, once it has a parent, it's gonna be like over there. We give it a position to spawn in. We don't kill the player. We don't kill the player for that. Uh, blast radius is going to be like for blast radius zero. Not really an explanation needed. But now, of course, you know, newbie. Huh? It does. It's not gonna work. How about we do requires line of sight? Yes. So what we can do now is script dot parent dot transparency six to one script of parent that can't collide is x um false so you can walk through it and then wait three script of parent that's transparency x to uh, zero 
and scrap the parent that can collide is equals to true. Of course, you can experiment this way with a bunch of stuff, doesn't really matter. Now we're just gonna hold it. You don't have to walk around, that's what I do. As you can see, we can go through it, and then after three seconds, it's gonna go back again, and we cannot go through it anymore. But you noticed an important mistake. You want to do script the parent the proximity prompt dot enabled is equals to false, and over here script the parent dot proximity prompt dot enabled is equals to true. That's what you want to do. Now we can go to play here. I'm actually just gonna make it shorter because I do not feel like giving it five seconds every single time because I will get very bored and that's not what I want. So once after a second, boom, we can walk through it. It's gonna disappear and then boom, it's back. So now if we just make a quick little, uh, I don't know, door, I'm just gonna delete this. It's gonna be a part. I might just make something pretty small. Of course, it is ugly. I don't know how to model. Okay, now we can play here. You're gonna see. So, uh, for example, this is a prison wall. We can, oh, it's over here. We can go boom, and we can go through it. And then uh, it's gonna regenerate back. Boom. And boom. Of course, you can experiment this with whatever you want. Um, there's not really much to say for that you could add one more thing you're gonna go to view you're gonna go to toolbox and you want to go to audio and you want to just type in explosion if you want to find an explosion why do you not work okay I'm just gonna do that one now you want to add in a sound to the exploding wall. You want to add in a sound. And just want to go over here. Script the parent that sound colon play. So to explain these type of code, you cannot walk through. Uh, part is visible. For enabled, you can trigger the part. So you can trigger it. Uh, we're waiting. And then uh, you can walk through this part is invisible. Keep in mind, one is invisible and zero is uh, visible. And now we're just going to play a sound. And we're going to say that you cannot trigger the mechanic. Now I just want to add in the sound ID. Let's top it to one final test. Boom. Okay, now we're over here, and now it's over here, we can, boom, I heard a sound, and now we can walk through the part, and then boom. So if you did in fact enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe, uh, if you're new to the channel, do what I said. Yeah, just, just do so please, okay, and buy my merch if you want, just bu buy this beautiful merch. There's 10 Robux. Anyways, as I said, if you did in fact enjoy the video, like it. If you like it, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. My name is Libby, and I say peace out.